What is up guys, it is President Q of 2K Central hitting you guys with some huge NBA 2K19 news that I just found out on Reddit and it's, it's starting to leak out into Twitter and stuff like that um, and you can see it on the screen. Do you notice what's going on? Do you see what's wrong with it? Well basically, as soon as the game dropped on Tuesday, they nerfed the XP. They nerfed how much experience you were able to get. You might be asking why. Well there's many reasons why they possibly could have done this. I know for one, is to make the reviews look good so reviewers can say the grind is not as hard this year. Also, 2K probably realized that people are going to be reaching 99 at a quicker rate this year. So they wanted to slow it down. And also, they seem to have been listening to the complaints of other YouTubers saying that my career grinders don't deserve to earn a fair amount of XP. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about people like Annoying TV and such. And I have a huge problem with this. And not because I grind my career, but I actually like to fill a grind of my XP online. But I have a problem with this because you're basically forcing other people to go and play online because that's the more quote unquote skilled way to play. Even though playing a Hall of Fame is insane, I know because I'm averaging six turnovers a game right now. Now 2K always lures in people with their my career every single year with their great story and this new stuff that they added, but they always screw over the offline players because people like Annoying TV just want to come in and complain about others getting their own grinding the way they want to offline. My nigga, you think I want to get back in the streets and mess up my record even more playing with randoms? Hell no. Oh, not for some XP. I'm just gonna stick my butt to my career and wait till my friends get online. But some people just don't understand that. But there is one benefit about this. It does give other people who didn't buy VC a little bit of time to catch up. So maybe you can find ways to get your own VC from grinding and playing the game. And you might be able to get to that 87 just like everyone else. So I guess there is a benefit to that. But otherwise there's not really another bright side to this. I hate that they lured in all these new consumers and people that thought that the game's grind was going to be way less harsh this year. But now they bought the game, they spent their money, and now they're like, wow, I guess I got to grind just as hard as I did last year. And who knows, we're probably going to compare the numbers and we're going to see if it's actually harder than last year's. But let me know what you guys think down below about this. Do you like the fact that they nerfed XP gains? Or are you a grind head like me and you wish that you could just play the game and get the rifle XP for the time that you put in? I have a feeling this move is going to run a lot of people towards NBA Live because NBA Live has a pretty quick grind. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel because you already know 2K Central is your best place for anything and everything 2K. This has been your president, President Q, and I am out of here. Peace.